All right, show of hands. Who here has read the Harry Potter books or watched the movies? Okay, those of you who didn't raise your hands might want to go change that before you keep watching because we are about to hit some major spoilers. Ready? Three, two, one. Snape killed Dumbledore! Oh, and Dumbledore might also be deaf. I'm Jocelyn the Intern. I do all the research nobody else wants to straight from the desk of Death Battle. Yeah, you heard me right. Dumbledore might be deaf. You know, the guy with the scythe, the Grim Reaper, all that jazz. Now, obviously, Dumbledore isn't so much the iconic cloaked skeleton that runs around killing everything he touches. More so, Dumbledore is the death portrayed in the tale of three brothers, which is a fairy tale told to Harry in the seventh book. In case you're a little rusty on the tale, let's do a quick recap. Three wizard brothers pissed death off by crossing a river said to be uncrossable. So instead, he rolls up on the trio like, Sup, my wizards, good job crossing this here river. How's about I hook you up with some dope new gear? The first of the brothers was mad power hungry and was like, GG too easy, Gramps, hook me up with a fresh wand, yo. So death obliges and gives him the elder wand. The second of the three brothers, which we're going to call Malcolm because he's in the middle, is like, I want something to bring my dead lover back to life. So Death hands him the resurrection stone. Now, the third brother is pretty smart and figures, hey, this Death guy isn't known for being a nice dude. Maybe I shouldn't trust him. So being keen to the trick, the third brother says, yo, hook me up with something that lets me move forward without you following my ass. So Death gives him an invisibility cloak. Now, if you couldn't guess, things go pretty poorly for the first brother, who is murdered over the Elder Wand. The second brother doesn't fare much better either. After bringing back a dead lover who is no longer the same, he decides to kill himself and join her in the void. The third brother, however, lives to become an old man and eventually passes his cloak down to his son and greets death as an old friend. Well, most fans all assumed that the three brothers were simply representative of Voldemort, Snape, and of course, Harry. But the new twist on this theory is that Dumbledore is in fact death. And if you look at the big picture, it does make quite a bit of sense. Think about it. Dumbledore gives Harry the Cloak of Invisibility and the Resurrection Stone via the Golden Snitch he leaves in his will. The Elder Wand is also in Dumbledore's possession and eventually makes its way into Harry's hands as well. Additionally, when Harry dies after getting struck by the Killing Curse, he arrives in a heavenly version of King's Cross Station and is greeted by an old friend, motherfucking Dumbledore, aka Death himself. Okay, sure, it's all speculation and fan theory, but for what it's worth, J.K. Rowling herself is a fan of the theory. Whether that makes it canon or not is a different story, but I, for one, won't be able to read the books again without thinking that Dumbledore could also be the Grim Reaper. Well, that's all, folks. Thanks for watching. All the support has been amazing, and maybe if you keep those likes up and share it with your friends, we can do some more episodes on Harry Potter, which would be awesome because then I can write the movies off as a work expense. Just, uh, just don't tell Wiz. Or Boomstick. He would want to watch them with me, and he always shoots the TV when he gets mad at it. Bye, see you next time.